The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to this learning session. I am Tebe Nestor, teacher. We are going to carry out teaching learning of Form 1 chemistry program of secondary general education in Cameroon. The Form 1 chemistry program will be presented as follows. Syllabus overview, learning outcomes, previous knowledge. The Form 1 syllabus consists of two topics, which are matter, properties and transformation, and environmental education and sustainable development. The topic matter, properties and transformation consists of six subtopics, namely understanding chemistry, action of heat on substances, simple classification of substances, acids and bases, water and solutions, and chemical elements. And the topic, environmental education and sustainable development, has two subtopics, which are water and air. By the end of Form 1, you should be able to understand chemistry and its importance in everyday life, carry out some simple physical and chemical changes, classify substances into mixtures and pure substances, and separate different types of mixtures, manage water and air in the environment, and separate liquid solutions into acids and bases using indicators, identify metals and non-metals by use of their properties, and use the knowledge acquired to solve daily life challenges. You are familiar with some basic notions of science from the primary school, such as state of matter, properties and changes of materials, and the separation of mixtures. The topic, matter, properties, and transformation, comprises the following subtopics and lessons. We have understanding chemistry with four lessons, action of heat on substances with three lessons, simple classification of substances with three lessons, acids and bases with three lessons, water and solutions with two lessons, and chemical elements with two lessons. The subtopic, understanding chemistry, consists of four lessons. We have chemistry and its importance in everyday life, safety rules for working in a chemistry laboratory, including signs and symbols on reagent bottles and their meanings, some basic equipment used in the study of chemistry, and measurement of volume, mass, time, and temperature. By the end of the subtopic, the learner should be able to define chemistry and give its importance in everyday life, master safety rules for working in a chemistry laboratory, including signs and symbols on reagent bottles and um, meanings, 
know some basic equipment used in the study of chemistry and also know how to measure volume, mass, time, and temperature. To effectively understand this subtopic, you are expected to have basic notions of science done in the primary school, such as the state of matter, properties and changes of materials, and the separation of mixtures. The first lesson is titled Chemistry and its importance in everyday life. This lesson will be presented to you following the plan below. We're going to have lesson overview and lesson outcomes, the previous knowledge, the life situation, science, chemistry and its branches, the importance of chemistry in the society, some chemical industries in Cameroon, some careers related to chemistry, evaluation, conclusion, then the assignment and references. The lesson will be treated under the following headings. Science, chemistry and the branches of chemistry, the importance of chemistry in the society, some chemical industries in Cameroon, and some careers related to chemistry. By the end of the lesson, you learners should be able to define chemistry and name the branches of chemistry, give some important uses of chemistry in the society, and list some careers related to chemistry. To effectively understand this course, you should be expected to have the basic notions of science brought from the primary school, such as the state of matter, properties and changes of materials, such as hardness, solubility, conductivity, and the separation of mixtures using methods such as filtering, hand picking, sieving, and evaporation to dryness. Life situation. Observe the picture on your screen and list some materials in it that are made using the knowledge of chemistry. Just observe keenly and try to pick out those materials that are made using chemical knowledge. You're going to pay attention and follow this lesson very well, and then we shall revisit this situation later. Chemistry and science. What is science? Science is a systematic study of nature. Science studies things and happenings around us in an orderly manner. Science is gotten from the Latin word cell, which means to know. Who is a scientist? A scientist is an expert in science, and he works in one of the sciences. There are four main branches of science, which we call the science subjects. This includes chemistry, which is known as the backbone of science, physics, biology, and geology. The classification of science subjects. Science subjects can be classified into two main groups, which are the pure sciences, made up of astronomy, biology, chemistry, physics, and geology. Then we have the pure, the applied science subjects, which are agriculture, engineering, and medicine. I would like you to know here that mathematics 
is used in both the pure and the applied sciences chemistry and its branches. What is chemistry? Chemistry is a science that studies the properties and composition, including the changes which matter undergoes. I say, chemistry is a science that studies the composition, properties, and changes which matter undergoes. In this definition, we hear of matter. Matter, as used in this definition, is anything that has mass and occupies space. Examples of matter include the table, a book, water, stones, and many other things which you can find around you. Who is a chemist? A chemist is an expert in science, in chemistry. That is, a scientist specialized in chemistry. Chemistry and its branches. Chemistry is divided into five main branches, which includes physical chemistry, organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, analytical chemistry, and we have biochemistry. Importance of chemistry in the society. We are going to have an, an illustration on our board. You are going to watch the screen carefully. You will see the importance of chemistry illustrated through some products of chemistry. We have the first picture there, showing us some types of fertilizers. Fertilizers are products of chemistry, which when applied in our farms, increase productivity of our crops, and therefore enable us to have food production in great quantities. We move to the next picture. It gives us various pesticides. What is a pesticide? This is a product that kills pests, such as insects, that feed on our crops, therefore reducing their yield. So the use of pesticides in our farms is going to enable us to have food production in great quantities. Then we have the next picture, clothing. In the clothing industry, we use chemical products such as nylon, polyester, or terylene to manufacture clothes. We also use dyes, which are chemical products to give color to our clothes and make them look nice. In our next picture, we have building materials such as cement, roofing sheets, which are usually made out of aluminum or plastics. We also have corrugated iron roofing sheets. We can find iron nails, iron rods, paints, glass, and others. These are chemical products used in building and construction. For example, the construction of bridges. Next on our photo, we can see drugs such as paracetamol, aspirin, and vaccines, pills, and injections, which are used to prevent or cure diseases. We also have anesthetics, which are chemical products or products produced using the knowledge of chemistry, used in surgical operations and dentistries. In our next picture, we have some foils. We can see the cooking gas, usually made of 
butane used to cook our food in the kitchen, petrol, diesel, engine oil used in automobiles. All these are chemical products. And the next picture shows us soaps and detergents. Soaps such as Azu, CCC, and detergents such as Total Clean, or more, are cleaning agents which are used in our environment to remove dirt and stains. To summarize, chemistry is very important in the society. So chemistry plays an important role in supplying our basic needs such as food production through the use of fertilizers and pesticides. Clothing in the clothing industries, it uses chemical products such as nylon, polyester, or terylene. And we also use dyes, which are products of chemistry. It provides the need of shelter. You know, we always have to hide ourselves from the harsh climatic weather. And in doing this, we have shelter by the construction of homes, good homes, through the use of chemical products like cement, roofing sheets, iron rods, nails, glass, and paint. It supplies us with good health in supplying medicines, drugs, vaccines, pills, injections, and anesthetics are all produced using the knowledge of chemistry. And these are very important products that help us to stay healthy. Fuels. These fuels, such as petrol, diesel oil, engine oil, and cooking gas are manufactured using the knowledge of chemistry. And lastly, we have soaps and detergents, which are cleaning agents that help us to clean our environment and even take a good bath with water and soap that keeps us free from bacteria, which may cause us illnesses. Some chemical industries in Cameroon. There are many chemical industries in Cameroon. Some examples which include chococam that produces chocolate, bonbons, and sweets, which our children and you learners love so much. We have Sikam that manufactures fabrics used in making clothes, alukam that produces aluminium which is used in the production of roofing sheets, cooking utensils such as pots and cooking spoons, and many other uh, materials that are formed from aluminium. We have alukam, sorry, we go to sikam, which produces clothes, camplast, that manufactures plastics used in the manufacture of many substances such as plastic plates, plastic buckets, and others. We have Sonera, which is located in Limbe, that extracts and refines crude oil into usable products such as petrol, engine oil, and others. And we have Pilcam, that manufactures electrical cells such as the Helicin batteries and the Goldstone batteries used in our torches. Some career related to chemistry. After studying chemistry and other science subjects, you can have different careers in life in many domains. These careers include, in the area of medicines, you can become a medical doctor, a surgeon, a veterinary doctor, a dentist working with teeth, 
a pharmacologist, a nurse, and you can also become a laboratory technician. And in the area of education, you can become a teacher or a counselor. And in engineering, you can become a chemical engineer or a petroleum engineer. We have products such as soft drinks like Fanta, Coca-Cola, Top. These are produced by brewing industry. And a brewer is a scientist specialized in chemistry. In the food industry, you can become a nutritionist. That's somebody who manages food items, making sure that they are good for consumption. Let's revisit our life situation again. Observing the picture on your screen, you were asked to list some materials in it that are made using the knowledge of chemistry. If you observed very well and you were able to see this material, you are going to see things like the roofing sheets, cement, you see that the roof of the house is made using aluminum roofing sheets. On the walls, you can see cement that has been used. In the pillars, we have things like the roof, uh, the iron rods. We have, you can see the plastic pipe that connects water from the roofs to the ground. You can see the floor beautified with nice ties. All these are products of chemistry. Now, I would like you to answer these questions so that I will know that you have understood what we have been doing here. Define to me chemistry. List four branches of chemistry. Give four important uses of the products of chemistry in everyday life. If you follow, follow this lesson well, you will be able to answer these questions. And you, if you answer them rightly, you are going to have the following answers. The first question was on define chemistry. So we say chemistry is a science that studies the composition, properties, and changes which matter undergoes. Our second question was on list the branches of chemistry. A good student that followed the lesson well will know that chemistry has these branches. We have the physical chemistry, organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, analytical chemistry, and biochemistry. The third question you were asked to give four important uses of the products of chemistry in everyday life. Here we are going to have in food production, we see that we use products of chemistry like fertilizers and pesticides. In the clothing industry, we use the products of chemistry like nylon, polyester, and terylene, and even dyes. In building and construction, we have products of chemistry used there, such as cement, roofing sheets, iron rods, iron nails, paints, and dyes. In foils, we have foils that are produced using the knowledge of chemistry, such as petrol, diesel, foil oil, and cooking gas. 
to summarize our lesson. In today's class, we saw that chemistry is one of the three of the four main science subjects. Chemistry is a science that studies the composition, the properties, and the changes which matter undergoes. Chemistry has five main branches and is very important in the, our daily life and the society. And that there are many chemical industries in Cameroon and many life careers related to chemistry. Let's take this assignment. Name any two chemical industries in Cameroon and state their products. Two, what is chemistry? And the last part of the assignment, read or study basic equipment used in the study of chemistry from your textbook. References. Mastering Chemistry Book 1 by Karen H. Kelda and Peter J. Holmes. Competency-Based Approach Chemistry 1 by Egwe J.N. Tifuhago M.O. and others and internet. We have now come to the end of this lesson. Our next lesson will be on safety rules for working in a chemistry laboratory, including hazardous signs and symbols on reagent bottles and their meanings. See you in the next lesson. Una tege si ma tege yop, una tege minga ma tege nyum, una tege ma jang ma tege ndom, ma ne tambia ninya ne injubia yen, ngani bana ma tege mot, ngani la kiri wa tege ndong, esotina biya jinkido, ma ne tambia ninya.